people come from all over to see the courthouse and when they come in they say oh this is so charming and beautiful and it is it's charming and beautiful and functional beautiful uh, monuments to our culture and to our heritage which ought to be preserved into the future you have this beautiful courthouse that was restored to look just like it was in 1895 but that courthouse not only serves as, of course, the courthouse, but also uh, the after-school children, the programs they go there, they play on the lawn. It's, it's just a beautiful place for people to gather. Well, it's, it's always a joy every time you're walking up, as, uh, up to the courthouse just to be a part of this, and it's part of history. It does have some competition, but I do think it is one of the most beautiful. Architecturally, it's a masterpiece. Of course, I'm partial. <laughs> we all think our courthouses are the most beautiful. <laughs>
that aren't participating in these programs. They're shriveling up and drying up and, 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 and it's sad. And I thank the Texas Historical Commission for working with us and helping us find our direction. Had it not been for uh, the state legislature and their grant to support us in our restoration, we would not have been able to have done it on our own. Once they're gone, um, once they're in such disrepair that they can't be um, repaired, then uh, we've lost a little bit of our history. Uh, the reality is, is that these are jewels. The, 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 there's incredible Texas jewels that need to be restored, need to be preserved, and it's just the right thing to do. I mean, and let me just tell you what, people that have forgotten their past, they have no future. The real reason uh, that we did this is uh, not for the history, but for the future. And it's because we got these little kids sitting right here in the front row, and one day it'll be extraordinarily important to us.